Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation. And today I'm going to make more watermelon juice, but this time I'm going to put in double the ginger and double the turmeric. 80 grams of turmeric and 80 grams of ginger. So the first step is to cut the watermelon into manageable slabs about an inch and a half thick. Let me show you how I do that. Now the first thing that I'm going to do after washing the watermelon, very important to wash it because I'm going to juice the rind as well as the flesh. So I'm going to cut this into manageable slices about an inch and a half thick. And then we'll show you what the next step is. And as I said, I'm cutting this into manageable slices so that when I put it into the press, it'll fit into the juicing cloths properly. So what I'm going to do next is cut off the rind as carefully as I can, keeping as much of that red flesh as I can. keep the rind separately because I'm going to shred the rind as well as press the flesh. So I'm going to continue cutting off the rind and as I said I'm going to shred the rind, the turmeric and the ginger separately and then mix the rind and ginger and turmeric juice with the red flesh juice and then bottle it. I'm going to stack these and cut them into manageable sections. About four inches by four inches square. About four inches by four inches. And another thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to be using bamboo liners, is I'm going to round off the corners to prevent the bamboo liners from bursting at the corners, at least minimize that. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the near zero blowback cutter that has over 80 teeth cut into these five blades and that actually shreds produce four degrees Fahrenheit coolant. So I'll install the near zero blowback cutter and you'll notice I'm using the front loading feed tube which eliminates blowback almost 100 percent. If you get any blowback it'll spit out not to your ceiling maybe a couple of inches when you're doing fruit like watermelon. So the first thing I'm going to do is shred the rind with the turmeric and the ginger. So we'll start with the rind. the ginger and the turmeric in with the rind. Now I'm going to continue with the rind and I'm going to add the ginger. What I'm going to do now is press all the watermelon flesh and you do not shred it. And I'm using cloths that I keep in the freezer specifically for watermelon. I have another set for apple, another set for citrus and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel apart these cloths that were kept in the freezer and line them with a bamboo liner. Now the bamboo liners prevent cloth from sticking to the pulp. And I'm going to take one of these slabs, put it in the middle, and I'm going to try to press two cloths full of watermelon flesh at once. They might be too thick, but we'll try and we'll see. So you pull it into as tight a package as you can, make a little crease at the back to enable your folding. 
fold it in a tight packet, set that aside, and we'll do another bamboo liner. They come in rolls of 100. There we are, fold it. Let's see if we can get two of these cloths in the press at one time. And I think we will be able to, yes. All right, now it's very important to have this centered left to right, centered front to back, make any adjustments if you need to. You notice how I can reach in on all sides. All the way back, back it off a little bit so it doesn't go up too fast. And when I get juiceful, I'll advance that all the way. Turn the machine off while we're doing this, and I want to point out that the bamboo liners can be used over again. Just unfold them and put in another slab of bamboo. Just unfold the bamboo liner and put in another slab of watermelon. Fold it as before into thirds. The tighter the package, the better. Now you might notice the bamboo bursting a little bit at the corners, but that's pretty normal. I'm going to show you how we can get 10% more juice using the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer. So in the press, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit, and continue. And once again, when you get juice flow, advance that all the way. You never throw away your pulp. Remember that. We're going to keep this pulp till the very end and I'm going to show you how you can get 10% more juice. Alright, we'll continue and we'll continue with another slab of watermelon. Again, folding the bamboo. This is the, what is it, the second or the third time that I'm pressing this? I think it's the third time. So we'll put this into a tight package and let's hope that it's not too thick to go into the press. That's perfect. Oh, it's getting very thick. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. But we'll put it right in the center. Now this is very important. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And as soon as we have traction and juice flow, advance that all the way. Now my bowl is getting full, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer that into another container because we're going to be mixing everything together anyway. So I'm going to put this watermelon juice into this bowl. I'm guessing that because my patty at the bottom is getting thicker and thicker that we're not going to be able to put two cloths full of watermelon flesh in the press. We'll try, but if not, we'll press one at a time. Yeah, it looks too thick to me, definitely. So we'll press one at a time until we get through all of the watermelon. All the way back, back it off a little bit. Now I'm going to be able to put my second cloth on top now that that's partially pressed. All the way back, back it off a little. Okay, there's the last of my red flesh pulp. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the remains of the red flesh pulp and do a little experiment later and see if we can get any more juice by shredding the already spent pulp. So the bamboo liners I'm going to throw away. They are biodegradable so they can go in with the compost. Next I'm going to use a new set of bamboo liners and press the rind pulp. A little bit too much there. I want to get about a half a container. And we'll fold the bamboo over. going to press two claws full of pulp again. Another bamboo liner and the rest of that pulp. And as soon as we have enough juice flow, we'll advance that all the way. And you notice how the ripe juice is more on the green side. 
here's the last of my rind juice. The rind shredded with ginger and turmeric. And I'm going to mix this with the red uh, flesh juice and then bottle it. What I'm going to do next is transfer all this red flesh juice into this other container. And I'm going to mix it with the green rind juice with the turmeric and the ginger. And continue transferring this because I want a homogeneous mix. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to shred this leftover flesh pulp and see if we can get any more juice out of it. Alright, what I'm going to do next is take this red flesh remains and shred it and see if we can get any more juice out of it. Now I'm only going down halfway. I don't want this uh, fruit pulp to spit back at me. So we'll continue pushing as much pulp as we can. I have a feeling we're going to get a significant portion of juice out of the remains of this flesh. Now here's the last of the already spent pulp shredded up. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press this shredded pulp from the red flesh that was sent through the shredder again. Before I do that I want to point out you always take the cutter off the machine. Never leave your cutter on the machine and put it in the feed tube with the hole facing down so you get good drainage. Now you'll notice here that I still have the pulp remains of the green rind and what I'm going to do is ladle this shredded pulp onto this rind. You never throw away your rind spent pulp. So three ladles full, maybe four, makes about a cup's worth of pulp. And we'll fold that over as we did before. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use a measuring beaker to measure how much extra juice we can get from the re-shredded uh, red flesh pulp. So let's do that and I'm going to fill another um, cloth full of pulp and again I'm putting the shredded red flesh pulp on top of the rind pulp and that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to rehydrate this pulp that still has some ginger and turmeric flesh uh, pressed in there. So we're going to get a little more of that turmeric and ginger flavor out. And again, we'll fold this into as tight a package as we can make. The tighter the better. And we'll press two cloths full of re-shredded red flesh pulp put on top of the rind pulp. Now, centered left to right, centered front to back, make sure it's on the press plate properly, all the way back and back it off a little. Fold the cloths again, and we're going to put these two cloths in the press, see my, how much more juice we get. And then I'm going to repackage these pressed cloths and see if we can get even more juice out of it. So, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, and back it off a little. Whoa, it looks like my container is full. We've got 19 ounces there. And what I'm going to do is pour that into this bowl and finish pressing that all the way back, back it off a little. So it looks like another 23 ounces of juice pressing the repackaged pulp. So we got another 23 ounces of juice from shredding the already pressed uh, red flesh. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to form this spent pulp into a tight ball, press it again, and let's see if we can get any more juice out of this already pressed uh, pulp. And we're going to fold this under two or three or four times. 
And we'll do that in both directions to make a very, very tight package. And let's see if we can get any more juice out of this. Turn that upside down, flatten it, set it aside. We'll do the same to this. Form this already pressed pulp into a nice tight package. And we'll fold it with my special folding technique where we fold the cloth under. Because we're going to minimize slippage this way. And then we'll do that in both directions. Flatten it and let's press both of these. And let's see how much more juice we can get out of this. Now, you can't do this with any other juicer than the Whole Health Foundation model with this solid bottom plate. And that enables you to leave the press up as long as you want. You can do this with any juice. So centering this left to right, centering it front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And this last pressing has a lot of micronutrients. There we have almost six extra ounces. I think by the time we're done, we're going to have six ounces. That's a significant amount of juice. Yes, six more ounces of juice. So I'm going to pour that into here. Mix this with the rest of the juice and put it into bottles. Now we have a nice homogeneous mix and I'm going to put that into bottles. Now to enable me transferring this juice into bottles, I'm going to put them into these containers that have a pouring spout. So we'll very carefully use a smaller container to transfer this juice and then we'll pour it into bottles. Now for watermelon juice, I'm filling these bottles right to the top. I'm not going to top them off with water, but if it's too sweet, maybe next time I'll top it off with water. Now before I put the bottles in the fridge, you clean the upper plate all the way around, and the side plate, press the water out, and then into the plastic bag in the freezer they will go. Now I keep all of my fruit cloths in a separate plastic bag in the freezer. So now we'll take a look at how many bottles of juice we made, do a taste test and then put the bottles into the fridge and these will go into the freezer. Well as you can see my friends I have 5, 10, 12, 13 bottles of juice plus enough for a taste test and at least one of these bottles came from repackaging the pulp and more than one came from shredding the already pressed pig flesh. So um, we've got a significant amount of watermelon juice here. So let's do a taste test. Well, my friends, now for a taste test. Watermelon juice with turmeric and ginger. Well, it tastes like watermelon candy. I think if I had put more turmeric, it would have tasted like medicine and you don't want that. Well my friends, I hope you like what you've seen. Watermelon juice with turmeric and ginger. Very, very tasty. I hope you like what you've seen and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to telephone me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.